welcome on this third Sunday of Advent as we light the candle of joy. We rejoice in your presence with us. And if you are worshiping with us for the first time, please fill out one of the blue and white work welcome cards which are located in the pew rack in front of you and place that in the offering plate later in this morning's service. And if you have a particular need, we hope that you'll indicate that on the card so that you may, we may respond to your concerns. I also encourage you to circulate the friendship registers through the pews, just guessing this morning that you may be seated next to someone you do not know. Perhaps you've been faking it for years. <laughs> and if you would happen to open that book and look at that name, you can greet that person by name and you can make a new friend. Well, folks, I have some good news and I have some bad news. First, the good news. Over 730 households have responded to our stewardship emphasis this fall as we seek to be generous and faithful followers of Jesus Christ, totaling nearly $3 million. Now the bad news. We need at least 100 more responses, commitment cards, to be received by the end of the year in order to fulfill Christ's mission and work and our commitments for the Lord in the community, church, and world. So, if you have not yet completed your commitment card, I want to say it's important as a spiritual discipline, but it's also important to help our church officers plan carefully and be good stewards of your gifts. So I would love to come back in January and say, I have good news and I have good news. So please give prayerful thought to your commitment to Christ for the coming year through the work of the church.